the wind still blew, and the sun still rose. And that, I think, is the true heart of America, that though our soil was attacked, we continue to stand up, we continue to move on, and we continue to fight forward. As you can see over here is a flag of honor that has all of the people who died on September 11th on it. If you look to the left side, this was our fire station. This was the first fire station from Los Angeles to fly out to aid and rescue after September 11th. It's located on Van Nuys Boulevard. In fact, if you drive over there, you'll actually, I mean, I'm sorry, Sepulveda Boulevard, hence the address says Sepulveda, you will actually see a piece of the World Trade Center there as a memorial. And again, you can go over there, it's lit, it's in the fountain, so you can see. I would say right now, what I'd like you to do is take a moment and think about what happened on that day. Relive what you're going through at the same time. Say a prayer for the people that lost their lives and their families. Say a prayer to the soldiers who gallantly defended us and didn't make it home. And, and also consider, responders. and the first responders as well. And also keep in mind all those that are continuing to fight for us and let us pray for wisdom. Also for our generals and the people in Washington. While you bow your heads and take a moment of silence, I'll wait a couple of seconds, and then I'm going to read from the song that really became the national anthem at that time to really how people were feeling. And it was a song by Alan Jackson. So if you want to bow your heads for a couple of seconds on that September day. Were you in the yard with your wife and children or working on some stage in L.A.? Did you stand there in shock at the sight of that black smoke rising against that blue sky? Did you shout out in anger and fear for your neighbor, or did you just sit down and cry? Did you weep for the children who lost their dear loved ones and pray for the ones who don't know? Did you rejoice for the people who walked from the rubble and sob for the ones left below? Did you burst out and cry for the red, white, and blue and the heroes who died just doing what they do? Did you look up to heaven for some kind of answer and look at yourself and what really matters? Were you teaching a class full of innocent children or driving down some cold interstate? Did you feel guilty because you're a survivor in a crowded room? Did you feel alone? Did you call up your mother and tell her you loved her? Did you dust off that Bible at home? Did you open your eyes, hope it never happened, close your eyes and not go to sleep? Did you notice that sunset for the first time in ages or speak to some stranger on the street? Did you lay down at night and think of tomorrow or go out and buy you a gun? Did you turn off that violent old movie you're watching and turn on I Love Lucy reruns? Did you go to a church and hold hands with some strangers? Did you stand in line and give your own blood? Did you just stay home and cling tight to your family? Thank God you had someone to love. Where were you when the world stopped turning that <coughs> September day? With that in mind, we continue to lift up the people that are defending us, and we pray for wisdom for the leaders in Washington, as well as the generals, as well as the first responders to this day who continue to fight for the lives of the people. Thank you very much, and I'll turn it back to Gary.